Solar activity has been on the rise over the past several weeks, and thankfully much of the continental U.S. was actually able to see some incredible views of the Aurora Borealis. Thanks for joining us here on Coin6. I'm meteorologist Josh Kozart. You know, we saw some incredible views here across much of the Pacific Northwest, including the Portland metro area, and you at home, you had your cameras ready to go to capture some incredible sights. This one from Coin6 viewer Ben Duren for sending in the northern lights out of Savi Island. Again, this all happened back on Friday, but we could potentially see more activity like this not only in the coming days, coming weeks, but maybe even within the coming years. It all comes down to the solar cycle, which is basically an increase in sunspots, also seeing an increase in solar flares and solar winds ramping up across much of our solar system, all courtesy to this 11-year cycle that we typically see. Now, it's not just the solar winds that play into this incredible sight of the night sky lighting up in different shades of color, but it's also the relationship between those electrons and protons that the sun throws our way, but also the Earth's magnetic field. Now, it's weakest at the poles. That's why we typically call them the northern or the southern lights. But the winds were strong enough, the solar winds, to fight through some of the thicker layer of the magnetic field and pushing itself further in to the continental U.S. And that's really what gave us the show-stopping views that we saw back on Friday. Now, I mentioned maybe not in the next week, two weeks, will we see anything like this. But over the next several years, it is a possibility because the sun's cycle, 11-year solar cycle, will remain at peak through 2025, 2026, expecting to see uh, quite a bit of activity with those sunspots and solar winds really starting to ramp up. Now, it tapers back Right around 2027, that's going to take us all the way through 2030 before, yet again, it starts to ramp up once again. But all of those different colors, really a good indication of the different layers of the atmosphere and the magnetic field that some of those electrons and protons had to fight through. So different layers of that field really brought us some different shades of color that we saw across the area. And again, just truly spectacular views. If you happen to have any photos or videos you'd like us to see, you can head to coin.com right now where we can continue the conversation there.